As our attention spans shorten, so does our patience for some answers about our messed up world. Things kind of suck down here, so let's talk about outer space. Actually, let's talk about the end of outer space, because the James Webb Telescope apparently just captured that. Yeah, insane, I know. Let's do a quick catch up. The James Webb Telescope was founded by NASA with the help of the European Space Agency. Webb captured its first picture on the 11th of July, 2022, which was revealed by US President Joe Biden himself. The image was a galaxy cluster named SMACS 0723, which scientists actually claimed was formed 4.6 billion years ago. No big deal or anything, just about 5 billion years. Everyone was aware that the development of James Webb was a huge milestone in the history of astronomy, and it didn't take long for it to start breaking records as crazy photographs began being captured. Things we only ever dreamed of. Webb captured the oldest galaxy named Glass-Z13, which is about 13.5 million years old, and broke the record for the oldest galaxy, which was previously held by GN-Z11, which is about 13.4 million years old. This is possible due to the infrared camera installed on Webb, and scientists claim that is extremely powerful. So, what makes the James Webb different and better from other telescopes? We are elated to celebrate this extraordinary day with the world, said Greg Robinson, Webb Program Director at NASA Headquarters. The beautiful diversity and incredible detail of the Webb Telescope's images and data will have a profound impact on our understanding of the universe and inspire us to dream big. I'm sure if you've heard of the JWST, you're also aware of the Hubble. Now the James Webb is an orbiting infrared observatory, and the unmatched quality of the web makes it really remarkable and more efficient than its antecedent, the Hubble. Let's compare the primary mirror of the Hubble telescope, which has a diameter of 2.4 meters, while the web has 6.5 meters, which gives web about seven times more light gathering capacity, allowing it to see further into space. The ability of web to capture longer wavelengths in comparison with the Hubble, makes it 100 times more powerful than the Hubble. A single image from the web contains more than a million pixels and may consist of up to 1,000 separate images. The establishment and control of web are basically under NASA, which provides most of its funding, but it is also aided by the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. So really, this is bigger than all of us, literally. Did you know that this telescope has a really short lifetime of about five to 10 years? It's crazy to think we even have this amazing invention for such a short time, but it means that astronomers will work even harder to obtain all the information about our universe. Although it wasn't designed to be serviced and upgraded, it could potentially be robotically refueled to extend its life. Can you believe technology has advanced so far? Now listen to this. In the past, a high amount of budget used to be allocated to the dust budget crisis because there is so much dust in space that it almost makes it impossible for us to look at distant stars and galaxies. Webb has countered this problem with the help of its infrared camera, which allows it to look directly through the dust particles. We are aware that the universe is expanding every passing second, and it has become so vast that most distant galaxies and stars now lie in the infrared spectrum the infrared camera gives us a glimpse of something we could never see in our life. However, one drawback is that the James Webb Telescope relies on gravitational lensing. What does this mean? So the gravitational lens bends the light that is emitted from large galaxies when they pass by massive objects. So to see ancient galaxies, the James Webb will also need to rely on luck as a factor. The primary mirror of Webb has a diameter of 6.5 meters and consists of 18 separable segments. All of these segments are gold-plated and expandable. The question is, why make these segments expandable? The web is so large and wouldn't fit in a rocket if all the mirrors were in their fully expanded form. When web reaches orbit, these mirrors finally start to expand so that they can absorb light. As web is positioned at the Lagrange point L2, and is located between the Sun and the Earth. One part of Webb always has to face the Sun, so the heated side of Webb consists of a solar panel that constantly takes heat from the Sun. 
and converts it into energy for Webb to utilize. The idea about the accuracy of the Webb can be assessed from the example given by the telescope chief engineer, Charlie Atkinson, who claims that its pointing accuracy is equivalent to firing a bullet from Washington and hitting a coin on the top of a tower in Los Angeles. One of the most popular images captured by Webb is of the cosmic cliffs. This is a landscape that consists of mountains and valleys, and it's filled with shining stars. The southern ring nebula, which looks like the remains of a star, similar to the sun and almost 2,500 light years away, has also been captured by the Webb. The southern ring nebula is a planetary nebula and was observed for the first time back in the 1960s, but its enlarged and clear picture was presented by the James Webb Space Telescope in 2022. The Webb is located at a Lagrange point named L2. Lagrange points are small points of equilibrium that provide an anchor to the objects sent there and makes them stay in space. It took Webb about 30 days to launch from the Earth and reach L2, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. It did so successfully on 24 January 2022. Lagrange Point L2 is located in between the Sun and the Earth, which allows the gravitational force from the Earth and Sun to generate enough centrifugal force to keep the web orbiting around both of them. As the Earth revolves around the Sun, the JWST is also interlocked with it and moves around it accordingly. The telescope has to fire thrusters for two to three minutes after every 20 days to prolong its current position because the point L2 is not completely stable and is likely to be inclined from this position. The fuel that keeps the JWST in space is estimated to run out in the next 10 to 20 years. And that is when the mission is predicted to be ended. Webb does not only study the structures of the stars or planets, but it also examines their atmospheres. And this is very useful because this can help us predict the possibility of life on other planets and answer questions like how the galaxies are formed. The exoplanet WASP-96b was studied using Webb, and it was found that there was evidence of water vapors and unseen clouds, which possibly hinted at the existence of life there. It has also been used to study the TRAPPIST-1 system, which consists of seven planets and has the probability of life because of water found on its surface. This is huge for humanity. We'll finally have the answers we thought we might never get. The position of Webb is almost four times farther away from the Earth and Moon when compared to Hubble, allowing it to collect the maximum amount of light from these two sources. Before the invention of the James Webb Space Telescope, the furthest galaxy that we had captured using the Hubble was the GN-Z11. Webb broke this record by capturing the image of GN-Z13. And according to scientists, the light passing from the surface of this galaxy is said to be 46 billion light years away. This scattering could be reported as one of the very first scatterings of light and is considered to be the edge of the universe. But the question is, is this the edge of the universe? The answer is for now, yes, but permanently? No because nobody knows how far science will progress in the future and what mysteries await us. But for now, we can all agree with the statement that the James Webb Space Telescope is not only a telescope, but also a time machine that has taken us further back into time. And who knows, it might lead us to the dawn of the universe. We can simply put it as the whole universe is one big puzzle and Webb is one big part of the puzzle that might just help us solve it.